our next team is also from Citrix, and they're working on a solution to help business users make faster and better data-driven decisions. Please join me in welcoming Kruti to the stage. Thanks, Nick. Hi, everyone. I'm Kruti Karsane, and my team and I actually initially joined the Innovators Program in order to identify a strategy for our workflows and apps strategy for Citrix, the company that we work for. Now, throughout this process, we actually conducted a lot of interviews, but there's one in particular that stuck out to me. Her name is Heather, and she runs the enterprise division of a local company. She started off by telling us about her day-to-day -day struggles, and throughout that conversation, she kept mentioning Excel as a tool that she uses. As she said that, we wanted to dig in further to understand what that meant to her. And when we asked her more and more about it, she told us about how, when she first started in the industry, everything was paper-based. And technology took that and accelerated it and then streamlined a lot of the processes that were manual. However, in some cases, it actually started to generate more work for her. She started to tell us about how, for her, it's actually a data problem. Every time she wants to get a report or an insight, she has to scour multiple data sources, find files that have the information she needs, look at those files, find the information within those files, drag all of that out, put it into Excel, massage that data, and then finally put it into a PowerPoint that she can go and present to others. To her, that's a massive productivity gap. In fact, it was such a sticking point that towards the end of our conversation, she looked at us and she told us, you know this data in and data out thing that I keep having to do? There's gotta be a better way. With the technology that we have today, there's got to be a better way. And when she said that to us, we all just kind of sat around and we looked at each other and we're like, yeah, there's gotta be a better way, right? We've all gone through this problem. We all go through it on a day-to-day -day basis in corporations. There's got to be a better way. It turns out that as we continued our interviews, 27 out of 30 interviews surfaced this insight. So as business leader, it turns out that we crave and yearn to be able to acquire and synthesize data that allows us to make better and impactful business decisions. However, the problem tends to be that our data is so fragmented across sources that it makes it difficult for us to get that health of business and as a result have that impact that we want to have so badly. In our minds, the answer is simple, right? You need to have a tool that does three things. But the problem with the tools that are out there today is that they require business analytics expertise that is way beyond what business leaders have today. And so what you end up with is a business analytics bottleneck where you don't end up being able to get the data that you need on time so that you can actually do something with it. That said, you, like I mentioned before, you need three things that a tool like this can do so that it's actually successful in, the, in this particular industry. The first thing that tool needs to be able to do is it needs to empower our business leaders to actually pull their own reports, not notifications, and dashboards. The second thing that it needs to be able to do is it needs to allow users to easily import data from various sources and on top of that, various files. And then the third thing that it needs to be able to do is it needs to be able to provide apprehensive access control so that the right people have access to the right things at the right time. Now, if we were to try to do this for all the data sources out there and all the data file types out there right off the bat, it would be an enormous undertaking. So we decided to start off with Excel as the first data file type that we would try this with. And the reason behind that is twofold. The first is that we kept hearing this in interview over interview over interview. Excel is something that I keep having to use. The second thing is that as Citrix, we actually happen to own a, sh a file sharing solution. So for us, this is the tip of the iceberg, right? We've already got customers out there that could immediately gather value from something like this. And so bear with me as I start to tell you a little bit about what this could potentially look like. Let's say you have a few Excel sheets in your file sharing solution and you need to pull insights from those Excel sheets. You go to your file sharing solution, you select those Excel sheets, you hit convert, and then you start to pull the data that you need from those different Excel sheets and choose where it needs to go. Finally, you hit convert again, and you're able to create charts, graphs, tables, a dashboard essentially, 
that you can then share with the people that need access to it whenever they need access to it and splice out the data that they need access to. This is our first tab at, or, uh, sorry, our first stab at taking unstructured data and making it structured. So unstructured data that's held captive in files and making it structured so that you can actually do something with that data as a business leader. You can imagine that if we can nail this for this data type, the possibilities are endless of what we can do with other data file types out there. So the natural next question becomes, why are we the right fit for this? If others have tried and failed, why are we the right fit? At Citrix, we are a leader in security, and the reason for that is because today, tens and thousands of customers use our technology to access their data and their apps. To me, the natural progression to that is to actually empower these users to do something with that data and to do something with those apps so that they can actually have an impact on their business. That said, I'll close with this. We believe that startups have a quicker and easier time making data-driven decisions because they're closer to the data that matters. Our hope is that with our tool, we can empower users in all sizes of organizations to make better data-driven decisions so we can stand here in front of all of you that might have the same problems and pain points that Heather does and tell you that there is, in fact, a better way. Thank you.